And that's where they really like kind of dropped to the ball with this one. Trevor actually just gave me an extra angel hat he has. Are you excited? Mm hmm It's our first baseball game of the season. So I got some new sandals in from Amazon. Strawberry matcha is a cure. I finally got the one from Kit Coffee. I was talking about it and I think it was the last vlog. No, the vlog before that. So I'm finally gonna get this a little try. Wow, the blowout though is like driving me nuts. So let's move. Okay, much better. But anyways, I like last minute decided a few minutes ago that I was gonna go to the beach and I forgot that we cannot find our sunscreen. So I am gonna stop by, oh, there's a CVS right across the street, perfect. So I'm gonna stop by CVS, grab some sunscreen since, you know, it's pretty much officially summer. So we are definitely gonna need sunscreen. It's Memorial Day weekend. So obviously this kicks off the first of many beach weekends. Oh my gosh, this parking lot is a mess. I never go to the center, but okay, let me try this. It's okay. I prefer the Starbucks one. Yeah, the Starbucks one is better. It just has more like flavor, you know? Like this strawberry matcha isn't bad, but I think it's like the vanilla cold cream that really makes it in the Starbucks version. And I hate to say that the Starbucks one is better because I've been dying to try the one from Kit Coffee. And like, I prefer to promote like, you know, a smaller business, but damn it, on this one, Starbucks does it better. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna go grab sunscreen and then we'll be on our way to the beach. Sunscreen is secured. Just grab SPF 30 because I am trying to tan a little bit. But yeah, the more I'm drinking this, I think what it is, it's missing enough strawberry flavoring. You know, like it mainly tastes like matcha and then every once in a while i get a hint of the strawberry and that's where they really like kind of dropped to the ball with this one no offense i'm just like if i'm gonna have strawberry matcha i want to taste both strawberry and matcha not all matcha you know yeah i barely taste it but like i had said it is memorial day weekend i'm actually kind of taking it easy today and tomorrow because i've actually got a lot of stuff going on over the next few days which i will obviously take you guys along for on sunday our friends are having their like annual memorial day party that they used to always have they didn't have it the last couple years because of covid but i guess like they decided to bring it back this year so trevor and i are headed to that on sunday also too we have like some family stuff that we're doing and then if you guys remember god i think at this point it was like what three years ago no two years ago three no, it was two years ago because it was literally right before COVID shut everything down. If you guys remember when we went to Australia, those friends that we went to Australia for, for their wedding, they are coming back. Actually, they may be back in the U.S. right now, but either way, they're here or will be here. And then me and my friend are going to meet up with her for dinner to catch up and stuff. And then after that, it's a couple of birthday festivities for Trevor. There's his actual birthday. And then we're going back to the ranch. We're going line dancing. I told you guys about this, I think, in last weekend's vlog when I went to Boot Barn and I got a hat for it. But yeah, Trevor's line dancing birthday party is coming up very soon here so we're gonna be celebrating and then the day after is that friend from Australia it's gonna be her baby shower she's pregnant so I'm gonna be going to that as well so it's just like a jam-packed next few days so I'm definitely taking today and tomorrow to just kind of chill that's kind of why last minute I decided like hey I think I'm gonna go to the beach Trevor went to go down for a nap and I was like I'm gonna go to the beach and he was like I still want a nap so I was like that's fine because I've been dying to go to the beach and it just hasn't been warm enough and actually technically right now it's not warm enough but I don't know what it is I feel really hot today so I think it's just like really humid today so I'm gonna go lay out for a little bit enjoy the waves and the sand and then Trevor wanted me to pick up sushi so I need to figure out where to get sushi on the way back because I don't think there's a ton of sushi places on my way back but it's fine I'm sure that I will find something so that's the plan for today. And for tomorrow, Trevor and I are just trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We like can't really think of any plans, but I'm sure he and I will get up to something tomorrow. I just wanna live. 
just lose control, just lose control. It'll be alright, this I know, deep in my soul. afternoon friends we just got home from visiting some family wasn't sure if I was gonna share this but when my cousins did say that they would like us to share the link for this but unfortunately I have an aunt who was diagnosed with cancer we had to go visit her today that's where we've been all afternoon and the family has a GoFundMe right now to just help fundraise for her care and then for arrangements later on so I'm gonna put it in my description below obviously no pressure to do anything with it they just asked us to share where we can and I wanted to go ahead and share it and even if you can't donate anything if you're willing to share it that would be really really awesome but like I said literally no pressure for anything like I said because they asked us to share I just wanted to mention that and put it in the description just in case anybody was interested but yeah I've been pretty much offline all morning for that but now Trevor and I are about to head out to a baseball game we stopped by Stata Brothers on the way home to get some snacks I'll show you guys what I got for myself but I was gonna show you guys my outfit really quick so truthfully I am not an Angels fan I'm actually a Dodgers fan but I mean I'm not like super into baseball so I mean fan is a really really strong word for what I am it's like one of those if I have to pick a team I like the Dodgers otherwise I don't really pay attention as much but I do love going to baseball games I love the atmosphere I understand the game enough to like enjoy what I'm watching so yeah I'm really excited to go we thought it would be like a fun little Memorial Day weekend activity this is what I'm wearing I tried to at least go Angels if the Dodgers were playing I would pull out some of my Dodger gear but the Angels are playing the Blue Jays today so I'll go angels. I have on these distressed shorts. These are the mom shorts from Cotton On. These are the mom shorts from Cotton On. Sized up, obviously. You want to be able to sit and be comfortable. And then this sweatshirt is kind of old, but it's from Shein. And it was just kind of like perfect for the fact that I'm going to an angels game because they're technically the Los Angeles angels, even though they're in Orange County, which doesn't make sense, but whatever. Red and white, just like the colors, and it says Los Angeles on it. And I just did a little bra tuck here to give this a little bit of shape. And then I'm gonna be doing my Melbourne bag. I was gonna do my Demolier bag, but this is just gonna be like more comfortable if we don't have an empty seat next to us. This will be more comfortable chilling in my lap than like the big Demolier bag. And then I just have on my Louis necklace, have on my regular jewelry. And then for a jacket, because I want to stay red, I'm actually gonna wear Trevor's Letterman jacket from Modern Day. This was from back when he was on the varsity football team there. So I'm gonna bring this for if it gets cold because it's actually pretty chilly today. Unfortunately, it's gonna be kind of a chilly Memorial Day weekend, which kind of sucks because like Memorial Day weekend, you know, it's kind of like the kickoff to summer. So you'd hope it's kind of like warm and sunny and it's, it's sunny, it's just not warm for sure. But I also kind of feel kind of Christmas right now with this bag and like the red and the white, but it's all good. And then for shoes, I'm gonna do my Converse high tops. These are the leather lug soles, just cause they're so comfortable. Here we go. So, with the sneakers, oh my God, cramp. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'm okay. All right, anyways, that's the outfit for the game tonight. And I'm thinking I might have to like run and grab something to drink. I was hoping that I could bring like one of my Waterloo's or a LaCroix or something, but I just looked it up and they don't allow cans. But if anybody is curious, oh, hello. <laughs> Was that your stomach? <laughs> if anyone's curious, you can bring in outside food to Angel Stadium, but they have some restrictions on some stuff. Like you can't bring in cans, 
glass bottles, obviously, stuff like that. So I think I might need to go to the liquor store and see if I can get like a soda or something and like a plastic bottle because I don't want to pay $9 for a drink. It's so stupid expensive there. Trevor actually just gave me an extra angel hat he has, so I'm gonna rock this one. Cute. Wow, I look like an actual angel fan even though I'm very much not an angel fan. Like I said, Dodgers at heart, but I don't know who the Blue Jays are. So for today, we're going angels. All right, almost to Angel Stadium. Ugh, it's backed up. Well, yeah. I know. It's gonna be even worse. Uh, in about half an hour, it's gonna spill into the freeway. So I guess we're here at a good time? Yes, well, I mean, as good of a time as it can be. I right said now. we could have left earlier, and you're the one who don't want to. No, I'm just saying, like, we didn't need to. Alright. It's fine. It's oh. gonna be like this no matter what. I never showed you guys my snacks. Can you grab my bag and the chips? Okay. So I got Stacy's pita chips, the you, Parmesan um, garlic and herb. Can you get the bag? You uh, shut the door on it. Oh, shoot. Alright, be prepared. You're gonna have like 8 million people trying to cut you off in a second. What I find funny is the people try to cut you off at the last second and then they flip you off <laughs> to cut you off <sighs> All right. instead of staying in line. I got these little fun size Twix and Red Vines. I can never pass up Red Vines. I love Red Vines so much. Oh shoot, I'm gonna need my wallet out of my purse for the uh, parking. And then like I wanted to bring a Waterloo or something. I think I mentioned to you guys, but they don't allow cans in the stadium, so I'm gonna have to buy a drink in there. You excited? Mm -hmm. It's our first baseball game of the season. Oh, have you been to a baseball game yet? This season, or is this your no. first one? Yeah. Wow, I went to Trevor's first baseball game of the season. Uh, yep, I don't know where you're going. Usually you do spring training, so that's why I was like, is I haven't it? done spring training in like four years. Oh. Oh, and you're getting my hat. With a signed autograph. Yeah, I already showed them. Oh, okay. I got oh. it. That's a wallet? You bought it for me, yes! I guess I forgot. <laughs> I'm about to pregame it. Oh my god, are you serious? There's cops up there. Yes, because they're gonna stop what their duty is right now to pull over a car, which they can't tell if it's truly alcohol or not. I'm just saying. I like how you brought your own alcohol. Uh, it's like 20 Gross. bucks a beer. And it's not even the good, well, the IPAs for you are good, but. I don't know, maybe I'll get one. And then I hate, yeah, I hate standing in the lines. Yeah, I don't mind. I like being at the game. I mean, I very much enjoy the game, but you know, I, my main thing that I love about going to baseball games is just like more the atmosphere, so. I mean, any sports game live is amazing. Hockey's probably the best. Mm -hmm. The amount of excitement in the air is literally the entire game. I feel like for me it's basketball just because I'm, I was so into the Lakers back in the day. So like, I was just really more into it. Mm -hmm. I would love to let you know that a UFC fight is my favorite one to go to, but I have never been to an actual one. Yeah, we were gonna really go, but it was four hundred dollars for the nosebleeds, right? It's so expensive for UFC fights. It's like ridiculous. We have been to a Bellator fight. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I do love live fights. That that is definitely gonna be like my favorite sporting event to go to. But out of the traditional sports, I'd say basketball. So very interesting development. Trevor was like, make sure you have cash for parking because it's always been cash here to park. In every ballpark we've ever gone yeah. to. And not only do they now do card, it was only card. Like I had my cash out that and she's weird. like, we don't take cash. I was like, what? Like I understand cash and card. Like it wasn't one of those like we were mad or anything. Like that's fine. It was just, it just surprised us. We were like, okay, after years and years, literally forever being cash only, now it's card only. I'm on 
that carpet ride. I've been swerving, I'm a servant to my magic side. I was in a magic city, going 50-50. I bet it all up on that red and they got real shifty. Pity, pity, it's a petty crime. You see how people change their vibe when it's green up on their mind. Kevin fed a line, but fuck if I know. I'm searching for them high notes. I'm slipping in my slippers, playing samples off this vinyl. Getting better every motherfucking session with my freshness. This is imperfection, but it's such a perfect. No, I fucking murked it. At the merchants, and I purchased what my curse is in between these verses. I how I really feel. Guys, guess where we stop after the game? <laughs> Trevor's not entirely thrilled, but he got cookies, so he's fine. But, oh Ooh, my god. Go, okay. Two chocolate chip for Trevor because he doesn't really venture out. Not with it's cookies. True. Right now. But with I food, yes, cookies now. Oh my god, you guys. I was so excited. This is the whole reason why I went. They had a Captain Berry Crunch cookie, one of my favorite cereals. And I also got this like chocolate and peanut butter one. It sounded really good. Do you want yours now while it's still warm? Yes. Okay. I have hand sanitizer right here. Thank you. Yeah. You also, want yours? yeah, I will. I just want like a couple quick bites because I know that the peanut butter chocolate one is warm too. I just want to try a small little bite of that one. By the way, we were in the liveliest section of fans it ever. Was good. It was so funny. This one guy just started collecting rally monkeys and putting them on the rail. And then other people's hats. Yeah, and other people's hats and stuff. But it was funny. Like at one point, you see people like passing rally monkeys over to him. I mean, just a small piece of the chocolate chip. Mmm. I've never had it warm. Mm. Mm. It tastes so good once it touches your lips. Mm -hmm. mm. We're basically at the Inland Empire for this, but... <laughs> it was only 12 minutes away. In the opposite direction. Worth it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That chocolate peanut butter one. And the whole reason. Mmm. Mmm. Love Cadbury Crunch. That's so good. Yum. Okay. We gotta go back to we gotta, Yeah. We gotta go home. Spartacus needs to eat. So see you guys back there. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm getting ready for our friend's barbecue. Just getting myself put together. It's sunny right now, but I do see it is pretty breezy. And also, I think I checked the weather. It actually is kind of cool, which I get for Memorial Day weekend. I wanted it to be like five degrees warmer you know like i don't need it to be hot but just like enough to enjoy the sunshine but yeah it's definitely breezy outside but still the barbecue should be fun so i'm just getting my face together for that i don't want to wear an actual foundation so i'm going to do the winky lux tinted veil this is like my favorite tinted moisturizer it's so so good oh which one is this this is medium that is too light let's go medium deep perfect oh my god please don't tell me i'm almost out there we go oh no i'm out i'm gonna have to order some dang it let's do it this way i'm gonna use this up till the last drop because again it's just it's so good it's like one of my favorite bases okay we'll <laughs> start out with that i'm too lazy to go wet a beauty blender so i'm just gonna go in with all brushes today sephora number 70 foundation brush and just buff that in and for concealer i'm gonna use the jaclyn cosmetics concealer i know that like people don't like this concealer but i really do one of like the most common complaints i hear about it is that it dries too fast which i find really weird because you guys know i let my concealer sit on my face because i want it to dry just a little bit and I've never had a problem with it drying too much. So yeah, I don't know why this one just works better on me. Maybe because I am like very oily. So my oily skin keeps it from drying out too fast, but it works for me. I'm just gonna do my brows. Little Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. I'm gonna brush them straight up right now. My brows have been not cooperating very well lately. Brush them over. Then I'm going to go in with the Kosas Airbrow just to fill in most of my brow space. 
I found that using this is actually like the fastest. Then I'm gonna shape it a little bit better with a brow pen. But this is just to give my brows some initial volume so you guys can see the difference. I really love this brow gel, it's so good. It's definitely worth the money, especially compared to like the NYX brow mascara. That stuff like went all over the place with my brows, but this one, like you can see, it still maintains the shape and it doesn't deposit too much product, which is a problem I had with the NYX Brow Mascara. It just like was so gloopy and I would just get globs of product everywhere. It was very annoying. I do like the NYX Brow Pan, so I'm gonna use that next and just kind of fill in some hair like strokes in the front. I'm gonna extend my tail. So it just fills it in. A little bit better. This brow is always my problem child. It drives me nuts. I'm just taking a different spoolie. This has like some leftover brow wax on it and I'm just going to brush it through really quick to just really hold these in place. I'm not adding any brow wax on it. It's just like some leftovers from like the last time I used it. Blend out my concealer and see it still blends for me. So yeah, I, I don't know why this one doesn't dry as fast on me as like other people have been saying but it works and I love the coverage once I let it dry a little bit it like covers enough but it's not as heavy as the Tarte Shape Tape for my shadow I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm not trying to do anything crazy here so I'm just gonna do like a smokyish brown eye not anything too dramatic because it's a barbecue like I'm not gonna go that dark but just like enough smokiness to give my eyes some definition so I'm going in with Shredded first. I'm using the Coconut Palette from ColourPop. I don't even know if they still make this palette, but I love it. It's just a bunch of like cool tone browns. Then in the crease, I'm gonna go in with Lovely Bunch. And then on the lid, I'm gonna go in with Culotta. Like I said, not anything too dramatic it's like a lighter tone smoky eye almost and taking a flat divider brush I'm gonna go into nutty and I'm just going to work that along the lash line give myself a slight wing I was gonna do lashes today but I rather be comfortable so I'm not <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with my brown liner this is lasting brown from la girl this is their ultimate intense day auto liner it's gonna kind of go over where i put that shadow taking that same flat definer brush i'm gonna smoke out the liner too so just make sure that stays and also gives it a little bit more intensity if i were gonna do lashes i'd skip this step but since i'm not i just want a little bit more definition than what the shadow liner alone can give me so for the bottom lash, I'm going to take Culotta, a little bit of Lovely Bunch, and I'm just going to smoke right down here. Taking my flat definer brush again, I'm going to go into Nutty, and just like on the very outside, stopping just short of halfway, just going to define that lower lash line a little bit, just like that. And a tight line with some black liner just on the tops. If you have thick lashes, no need to do this, but if your lashes are sparse, that'll help a lot. Better than sex waterproof mascara. I'm just gonna start out with one coat, then a second coat on each side. That's the difference between one coat, two coats. I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners using Coastline from ColourPop. So for my bronzer, I'm going to use the Merit Foundation Stick in Sienna. I'm just going to stipple it on. Then taking my cream contour brush, I'm just going to blend it in. Spread it to the forehead. For my blush, I'm going to use the Sai Say Dew Blush in Dreamy. I'm going to start out with one. Use my finger on this. I noticed I actually like going in with a lot, especially in the beginning of my makeup, going high up into the temples. I'm going to start with my finger first, just to keep as much pigment as possible. And to blend it out, I'm going to go in with a brush to soften it. I just start with the finger so I don't pick up too much pigment. Because blush comes off really fast on me, so... I don't mind starting out with more over less. 
For highlighter, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Putty Highlighter. I'm just going to work it into the cheekbones. And for lips, shoot, I'm not sure what I want to do for lips. I'm going to do the NYPS Lip Pencil in Natural. And then Buxom White Russian over top. That is the finished makeup look. Just kind of like natural glam. Like I said, we're just going to barbecue. I don't want to go over the top, but I still like wanted to pull myself together, you know? So let's go ahead and do my hair. I think I'm going to wave it. It's been like a few weeks since I last did it. I think my layers are longer now. I tried to wave my hair when I first got my hair cut and I did not like how it came out in the front. I think the pieces were just like too short. So the waves hit at a weird angle, but my hair, as you can see, has grown out a little bit. So... I'm going to attempt to wave it again and see if I like it better with a little bit more length on it. I just realized that my camera has been on the daylight setting this whole time. I have no idea how long it's been on that setting for, but I think if it's been on it this whole time, that would explain why I was complaining in the last vlog that the screen seemed so yellow. So I put it back to automatic and it looks so much better. So if the coloring was weird and the get ready with me in the beginning of this vlog, in the last vlog, I apologize. I didn't even realize that it was on the wrong setting this whole time. I'm so pissed at myself. Like, I should have known. That's such an amateur move. So I'm shooting some content tomorrow, so I want this hair to still look good tomorrow and also on Tuesday because I have plans with some girlfriends on Tuesday. So I'm going to go ahead and do some dry shampoo. This is the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. I talked about it in my last weekend vlog when I picked this up, but it's my favorite dry shampoo, and this actually does have UV protection in it, so it's great for the summertime. In case you guys are looking for any type of hair products with UV protection. I'm just gonna brush that through really quick. And I'm gonna use a heat protectant spray. I use the Bondi Boost one. I've been using this for a little bit. I think it's okay. I, I don't know. I've never actually... Honestly, this sounds so bad. I've really used heat protectant stuff in my hair, so I have no idea how to judge this. But my hair seems to be fine, so I guess I like it. You guys, this hair straightener, I'm telling you, this is the greatest hair tool I've ever gotten. I got it off of Amazon, and I use it to curl my hair, straighten my hair, and wave my hair. I use it for everything. Like, if I go on vacation, this is all I bring because it does everything, and it's just so good. I'm going to start further down than I did last time. Probably at about eye level. I'm gonna start leaving out, or yeah, out then whatever that was. I guess out then and yeah. But I'm gonna keep the wave a little looser, a little bigger in the front. If I want to go smaller once I'm done with my whole head, I will. But for right now, I just want to leave it more relaxed. Actually, I kind of wanted to try like the Haley. Bieber way. Let me see here. So she does that here. Huh. Okay. Now nah, you know I like my way better. <laughs> I get a little bit more of a dramatic bend, which I think I need because my hair is so naturally straight that after a few hours it'll probably fall to like the way her waves look. Yeah. Okay. I like this better, a little bit more length. Note to self, don't cut too short in the front. So after I wave it, you guys just saw, I also just like run the straightener through it all once just to make sure that it's like kind of more undone, not too defined or anything like that. But that's the straight side versus the waved side. And I don't know, I just really like waved hair when it's not like crimpy, you know? Like if I use a waver, it is much faster. But it just doesn't look like as carefree and stuff as when I do it with a straightener. So here it is right after being waved. I'm just gonna go over sections like the front for right here and stuff just to make sure I don't lose any waves then I'm gonna go in with a straightener and just run it through once 
kind of give everything whoops, a more undone kind of look. But, but there we go. That's the hair for today. This is like my favorite way to do my hair lately. I just love it. I think it's just a summertime thing, like knowing that summer's coming up. Waves just are so carefree and beachy and stuff. So I'm definitely in that mode. But to finish off, I'm going to use my new shine spray. So the Kenra shine spray. I am out. I'm looking at uh, my bio silk silk therapy one. Like I love it. Like you can hear it. it's completely empty. Ulta was completely sold out of it. So I'm trying this Kenra one for the first time. But I'm just going to do, oh gosh, that is, that's a very strong spray. So i do that really far away. It's like a super concentrated spray. I prefer the scent of the BioSilk one. This one doesn't smell bad. It smells good, but the BioSilk one, it just smells like fresh salon hair. But, okay. So with Shine Spray, without. Mm. Mm. I mean, it's okay. I, I can tell that it it is shinier on this side and it seems like it looks healthier but I feel like the bio silk one is just so much better so I think once the bio silk one is back in stock I'm gonna get it and just keep the general one as a backup because yeah like I said I think the bio silk one is definitely better like I needed more product to kind of get where I wanted to as far as like shininess goes so yeah I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for the other one but I mean it's not bad it's fine as a backup, but BioSilk is definitely better. So I got some new sandals in from Amazon. As we know, early 2000s trends come back is huge right now. And I was actually really excited for the platform flip flops to come back because I'm a shorty. <laughs> and I never mind getting a little bit more height. So I ordered a pair off of Amazon and they just got here. So this is from the brand Cushionair Memory Foam, I guess. But I wanted a pair of like lighter cream or beige platform flip flops. But I found these. Ooh, it's cute. It's kind of like a bone color. But here's what they look like. So I wanted like this kind of strap specifically. It's kind of like a leathery strap, a little bit thicker, just so that it seems a little bit dressier. And honestly, I would have been happier with a little bit of a higher platform, but I'm still okay with it. Like this still works for what I was hoping for. This is like the lowest that I would go, but here's both of them. Really cute. So I'm going to wear this my outfit today. We moved downstairs so that Trevor could nap, but I think... This is what I'm going to wear. He's just going to take like a quick 30 minute nap before we go. I have on the Sun shorts, then those sandals. I just don't know what jacket I'm going to do with this because it is going to get cooler later. But anyways, the top is a new one from Princess Polly. It's this very 2000s inspired tube top. It's got like this lime green on the top blue in the bottom and then it cinches on the side so you can make it as short or as long as you want to. And then the other thing I still need to figure out is a purse. I honestly feel like my Demelier bag, this goes better, but I don't know if I want to bring this to the barbecue. It just feels like a lot, you know? Like I'd rather do a more casual slouchy bag. I was thinking of the Melbourne, but I just, I don't like this Kelly green with this top. You know, it just, it doesn't, I don't like this mix, so I will probably just pull up my Coach Just crossbody in a little bit and just use that since it's neutral. But yeah, that is the outfit, and like I said, I still need to figure out a jacket. I'll probably just do a denim jacket. I love a good denim on denim look, and most likely I probably won't wear the jacket until like we're heading home anyway, so it doesn't really matter as much. So we're on our way to the barbecue. I just threw on my denim jacket, doing a denim on denim with the tube top platform sandals. It's a very Y2K look today. We grabbed some Topo Chico's. I don't know if you guys can see them down there. And we're heading over. They luckily live like just across the street from us. Well, kind of. They're like across the freeway. So it was just like a five-ish minute drive if that. Time flows to try to find the reason to hold on to those dreams of my 